हे एव्हरी वन सो लेट सी दिस आर्टिकल ऑफ एडिटोरियल नोट टू कृषी भवन कृषी इज वॉट कृषी इज युअर एग्रीकल्चर ओके नाव लेट सी वॉट दिस इज अबाउट येस the tenure of the new union minister of agriculture and farmer welfare shivraj singh chauhan states from place of policy paralysis he can neither shrug off the decisions taken by his predecessors or the legacy he inherits at krishi bhavan his primary challenge is to regain the trust of the farmer the manner in which the three farm laws were rolled out and how the establishment engaged with the agitators has left a bitter aftertaste it will need sensitive handling that should begin with the scrapping of the infamous msp committee formed in the aftermath of the farm laws india has not had an agriculture policy for decades and like the us the eu eu is european union and china who change their policy at frequent intervals the commissioning of new policy is in order and during that process the minister will gain time to get grip on things the policy will have to change the policy will have to change tack on multiple fronts beginning with pragmatically designing for strategic autonomy rather than targeting self sufficiency in agricultural production it must be appreciated that when it comes to indian agriculture what is true for the whole is rarely true for its part some of this is attributed to the diverse agro climatic regions in the country and the federal structure under which policy works the union minister will soon realize that central government policy is restricted by the fact that agriculture and land are in the domain of the states animal husbandry and fisheries where real growth is visible are separate ministries the budgetary allocations are controlled by the ministry of finance and an outdated inflation policy is dictated by the rbi the gods have been kind to the narendra modi government as india has not faced a major drought in last 10 years but the odds of one in the next 5 years cannot be ruled out johan's task might not be easy The other big challenge for the minister is to convince the government and the RBI to change their methodology of targeting inflation. In developed countries where central banks use the consumer price index to measure and control inflation, food constitutes a small portion of the expenditure basket, while wages impact it far more. But in but in developing nations like India, food constitutes about 40% of the basket. in trying to protect the consumer rbi's actions are constantly putting explicit and implicit pressure on the government to act on food prices which leads to a spiral of lower farm gate prices how does this impact 42% of india's population dependent on agriculture for its livelihoods consider government actions around non essential commodities like onion which expose its convoluted policies and why the ideas of improving farmer livelihoods by doubling their income is difficult a family of 4 consumes about 15 kg of onion a month if the price spikes by rupees 20 per kg the monthly budget of the family rises only by rupees 300 per month while artificially subduing through stock holding limit export restrictions etc farmgate prices by rupees 20 per kg leads to loss of rupees 2 lakh per acre for every farmer growing onions as summing assuming the yield to be 100 quintals per acre considering on an average an onion farmer cultivates about 2 acres of the land the order of magnitude is astounding it is neither the responsibility of the farmer to provide cheap food nor it is justified for the rbi to sacrifice the farmers at the altar of inflation targeting just a second just a second yes yes so where we were yes the government should roll out a mechanism to compensate farmers when its policies depress farmgate prices additionally with the rbi it can devise methods of softening the impact of rise in the price of food by direct benefit transfers dbt or coupons and other such for consumers dbt has its shares of issues but is not uncommon 
The history of the ministries that impact farmer livelihoods is replete with a spate of unforced policy errors and missed opportunities. Policy makers balk at documenting policy failures and fight back against changes that seek to improve regulation, enforcement, governance, transparency, and accountability. Refusal to document failure means sowing the seeds of yet other policy missteps. Policy makers should pay heed to the lessons learned from the farm. There are no perfect solutions. There never were any. For the ministry, the big question is, what is the level of imperfection the union minister is willing to settle for? So this uh, whole article is about agriculture. And it's about the union, new union minister, Shivraj Singh Chauhan, ki wo isko kaise handle karenge. And uh, in this, there are certain important points. Jaise ki yaha pe humne dekha DBT, so we should know what DBT is. Then over here, uh, where, where it is, somewhere here, wait. Inflation, this, uh, basically this article is about agriculture plus economy. You should have basic understanding of all these things, at least for the prelims. So this article is all about these point and uh, kindly have the examples and uh, in-depth knowledge of agriculture and economy for answer writing for prelims questions and thank you. Keep working hard.